Brothers is a 2022 American romantic comedy film directed by Nicholas Stoller from a screenplay he co wrote with Billy Eichner, who also stars and executive produces. Stoller, Judd Apatow, and Joshua Church are producers on the film. The film also stars Luke McFarlane, T.S. Madison, Monica Raymond, Guillermo Diaz, Guy Branham, and Amanda Burse. It is among the first gay romantic comedies released by a major studio, and features an openly LGBTQ and principal cast. Brothers had its world premiere at the 2022 Toronto International Film Festival on September 9, 2022, and was theatrically released in the United States on September 30, 2022, by Universal Pictures. While the film received positive reviews from critics, it disappointed at the box office, having grossed $13 million against a budget of $22 million. Plot At a psychiatric ward, psychiatrist Dr. Rose Cotter meets with Laura Weaver, who had several days earlier witnessed her professor die by suicide. Laura states she is being pursued by an entity that takes the form of people smiling at her, and that it told her she is going to die. She begins to have a mental breakdown and convulses after saying the entity has appeared in the seemingly empty room. Rose turns away and calls for help. When she turns back around, she finds Laura calmly smiling at her, before cutting her own throat with a piece of broken vase. Following the suicide, Rose witnesses Carl, another patient smiling at her, shouting that she is going to die. She orders for Carl to be restrained, but suddenly sees that Carl was asleep the whole time. Concerned for Rose's mental well-being, her supervisor Dr. Morgan Desai gives her a paid week off. The supernatural occurrences continue, severely harming Rose's relationships with her fiancé Trevor and her sister Holly, who believe she is going insane. Rose has had a strained relationship with Holly ever since the death of their abusive and mentally ill mother, who overdosed and whose body was discovered by a young Rose. At her nephew's birthday party, Rose's wrapped gift has somehow been replaced by her dead cat, which disappeared the night before. Rose then sees a party attendant smiling at her, invisible to others. Discovering that Laura's professor was smiling at her during his death, Rose pays a visit to his widow Victoria, who claims that her husband started acting differently after witnessing a woman die by suicide. Rose visits her ex, Joel, a police detective who had responded to Laura's death. Going through police records, they find a chain of cases where someone suffered apparently supernatural hauntings before killing themselves, smiling, and passing the hauntings on to a witness. Joel discovers that none of the cursed victims lasted longer than a week, except Robert Talley, who is in prison for killing a stranger. Rose and Joel visit Talley in jail, where he explains that the only way to break the chain is to kill someone else in front of a witness to whom the curse will transfer. The entity later assumes the form of Rose's therapist, Dr. Madeline Northcott, and attacks Rose in her home during an impromptu therapy session telling her that it is almost time. Later on in the hospital parking lot, Rose has a dream of murdering Carl in front of Desai, who rips the skin off his face as Carl mockingly screams at the distressed Rose. After spotting a knife inside an erratic Rose's car, Desai alerts the police to her. Rose drives to her remote, abandoned former family home as Joel tries to track her down. Planning to deprive the demon of witnesses, Rose holes up in the house where she finds the demon having taken the form of her dead mother. It is revealed that Rose had actually found her mother shortly after overdosing, Rose witnessed her mother's death throes, but without intervening. Rose confronts the entity, who morphs into a tall, deformed version of Rose's mother. She sets the entity on fire with a gas lantern, seemingly killing it and ending the curse as the house burns down around them. Rose drives to Joel's apartment and is comforted by him, until she realizes the entity is taking his form. As she flees, 
Rose discovers that she is still at the old house just as the real Joel arrives everything that happened from the moment she entered the house was a hallucination. Panicking, Rose locks herself in the house. The entity appears and rips off its own face, revealing its true form a skinless, long-necked creature with nested jaws before forcing Rose's mouth open and crawling into her body. Joel breaks into the house, eventually finding Rose, who has doused herself in kerosene. Rose turns to face him, smiling, and sets herself on fire in front of him, passing the curse to Joel. Cast Production In June 2020, Parker Finn was tapped by Paramount Pictures to write and direct a feature adaptation of his own short film Laura Hasn't Slept, which saw a young woman seeking the help of her therapist desperate to rid herself of a recurring nightmare. Earlier in March that year, the short film won the Special Jury Recognition Prize for SXSW's Midnight Short category. In September 2021, the film was announced under the title Something's Wrong with Rose with Soja Bacon cast as the titular character. Paramount Players and Temple Hill Entertainment had boarded the film to CO produce. The following month, Jesse T. Usher, Kyle Gallner, Rob Morgan, K.A.L. Penn, Judy Reyes, Jillian Zinser, and Caitlin Stacy joined the cast. Principal photography began on October 11, 2021, in New Jersey, including in the city of Hoboken, and finished on November 24, 2021. Editing and post production started on December 3, 2021 and lasted through the end of May 2022, visual effects was done by The Artery and was supervised by Yuval Levy and Vico Sharabani, when the film was simply retitled Smile. The film's score was composed by Cristobal Tapia Devere. For practical effects, Finn recruited Alec Gillis and Tom Woodruff Jr. of Amalgamated Dynamics, who he described as a major influence in wanting to be a horror filmmaker for their work in films such as Aliens. Marketing Promotional materials that were released included an 8-second teaser on May 26, a 40-second teaser trailer shown at screenings of Top Gun, Maverick and Crimes of the Future in early June 2022, and a two-minute trailer and poster on June 22. Brad Miska of Bloody Disgusting described the footage as pretty generic, but said it stood out due to its similarities to Ring and the Ring. Shawnee Russell at Slash Film compared the film to The Ring, It Follows and Truth or Dare and wrote, It's all very familiar and probably not too hard to imagine how the movie will progress, but the scares will make or break the experience, and based on the trailer, Smile is more than promising. During several Major League Baseball games the weekend before the film's release, an apparent viral marketing stunt occurred, as the studio or marketing firm purchased seats behind home plate, with actors smiling maniacally into the camera for the pitcher batter shot for extended periods of time. Some of the actors wore shirts with the name and logo of the film on the front. A tie in with the Crayon text to image generator involved AI generation of images of nightmarish smiles. Release Smile had its world premiere at Fantastic Fest on September 22, 2022, followed by screenings at Beyond Fest on September 27. It was released in the United States on September 30, 2022, by Paramount Pictures. Paramount Pictures President and CEO Brian Robbins said that Smile was originally slated for a streaming-only release on Paramount+. Plus but the studio eventually decided to release the film theatrically because of strong results from test screenings. Reception